Back to K8 News. It's time to spin the wheel on fun for families in Region 8. The Greenville Jack-O-Lantern Jubilee happens this Saturday at the Greenville Recreation Area at Wapapello Lake. And joining us now is our friend Andrew Jefferson from the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers. Thank you so much for coming today. As always, I appreciate the invite. <laughs> oh, and, and we love it when it's all about the fun. And yeah. what all do you have planned Saturday? Well, this Saturday, which will be the 12th of October, uh, from 5 to 7 p.m. at the Greenville Campground, we'll have the annual Greenville Jack-O-Lantern Jubilee. And it's actually a huge trunk or treat oh. type activity for any and everybody. We will um, have the uh, gate to the campground closed so that way there will be no vehicular traffic from 5 to 7 p.m. Very safe. People will be able to walk in. Uh, the campers actually put this event on. We're there to um, help answer questions, plus for safety reasons. But um, the campers, they decorate their campsites. They have plenty of candy and goodies to give away to any and everybody that shows up. Plus, uh, the Friends of Wapapella Lake uh, Association, they're going to be there as well having T-shirts for sale. Oh, nice. The uh, Wayne County 4-H Club on the 19th and 26th, that's the next weekend and the weekend afterwards, they're going to have uh, hot chocolate and uh, chili and whatnot uh, as a fundraiser Ooh, at the event. So, so there's going to be plenty to uh, do. Uh, we encourage folks to bring their flashlights because it will get dark. Again, the hours are from 5 p.m. to 7 p.m. Um, this coming Saturday, as well as on the 19th and the 26th. Okay, so don't just drop the kids off. We want to make sure the <laughs> parents are there as well. And again, what time does it get started? It starts at 5 p.m. and it ends at 7 p.m. Uh, mainly on the last night, which is the uh, 26th, the final weekend, um, it's like a big circuit for the uh -huh. folks in the uh, area. They go to Williamsville, oh. to the town of Greenville, to uh, Piedmont, and they end up back at the Greenville campground. So they make the big circle and end up back at Greenville. Oh. How fun. That sounds like a great tradition. Kids can come in costumes. Yes. And you find that the adults come yes, in costumes too. Yes, adults here. can come in costumes as well. And we also have another event going on this weekend. It's the Mobility Impaired Deer Hunt for those who have ambulatory conditions. Uh, it's put on by our natural resource program, Eric Lemons. He's the lead ranger. We have about 25 people that will be participating. And there are several areas that have been designated as hunting zones for those who participate. Oh. Uh, you can find those areas on our web uh, site page or on Facebook, uh, Wapel Lakes Facebook page. But uh, we encourage folks, if you're going to be out in the wooded areas, please make sure you wear your blaze orange as safety precautions. Yes, absolutely. So you can play it safe. Yes. But so many people look forward to that because with mobility issues yes. diminished, this is an opportunity yes. to get out. Yes, and, and uh, it's not just the Corps of Engineers that does this. We have partners such as the uh, Wake Foundation, as well as the Missouri Department of Conservation and numerous volunteers. So it's a cooperative effort for those who cannot do the things that we normally do. It's like Christmas time for them. So <laughs> sure. we're excited and look forward to it. Uh, so much happening at Wapapella Lake. Yes. Andrew, thank you so much for driving down today. We thank you, Diana. We appreciate the invite. You're welcome. And the weather's been so wonderful for all of this, uh, Christina.